<clears throat> gasoline <clears throat> matches. All right, guys. Well, if you heard that song, you remember, and you grew up in the 2000s, the early 2000s, you definitely grew up on this show, and you definitely remember this car. And if you're a Foose fan, then you're definitely going to like this one. I have in my hands the Gambler 514, one of the most iconic Foose cars of all time. And this video has already got a like. So we're going to get on to unboxing this bad boy. We're going to unscrew it. If you want to skip ahead to where I do the actual review, it's probably about three or four minutes in. So I'm going to try to be as careful with the tape as I can. And I'm curious to see one thing, if this has the audio components that they actually put on in the show. Looks like we got two viewers already here, which is a good sign. We're doing the review of this Gambler 514 in case you're just tuning in on the Foose Mustang, which is a very iconic car. If you remember the song Gasoline from the beginning of the show when it starts playing, you had a good childhood. Okay, so... I definitely thought Foose was a lot more respectful. Well, it was a lot more real than Pimp My Ride. I'll put it like that because I've seen shows. I've seen things on what Pimp My Ride was actually like. So trust me, I know that Overhaul was pretty uh, real. Oh man, this car is gorgeous, man. Oh my god, I've been wanting to unbox this. I've been wanting this car for a while in my collection, man. I tell you what, yeah, I am very excited. Ooh. It looks like we got the seats, the nice racing seats. They left out a bar on this box. It looks like there's one bar that got left out, I think. That's okay, though. It's going to get displayed. And I think they did that because the window box, and they changed their uh, box format. Let's see if we have the kicker audio components in the little trunk area here which I'm very curious to see because I've seen this car and it does not look at, hold on, from this angle. Well, that is a bit, hold on. You see, that's a bit of a missed opportunity right there. That's what I'm going to say. I think it's got them. It doesn't really look like it does. It just looks like this is the wheel well right here where it starts out at. Yeah, this is just a black piece of plastic. Still, I can't knock them for doing the gambler finally. I'm going to try to close the trunk very carefully because this hinge is very stiff. The hinge for this trunk is freaking stiff as can be. I'm trying to apply a little bit of pressure here. I don't want to break the hinge, so I'm not going to mess with the trunk. I'm just going to leave this trunk in the open position, and we're going to get on with the review because... I prefer to keep my models intact, especially with the trunks and stuff. I'm not going to mess with that hinge too much because that kind of worries me that that hinge is super stiff. All right, so it's probably about three minutes in. I'm going to warn you there's going to be a bit of an unscrewing process here. So if you all are going to get through this with me and you all are still tuned in, I appreciate it. Um, OMG. That car is pretty. Yes, I know. Hot Wheels fever. I see Andrew TRX1333 is coming. Yes, it's a beautiful car. No, I did not have to fight a bunch of idiots at Walmart to buy it. And if you're interested in it, check out Hypnotize Hobbies. He's got about nine of them available. You have to excuse me. I do have a flathead here that I'm doing this with. I'm trying to get through these as much as quick as possible. We're about to see this thing for the first time unboxed. And I've been curious about this car since it came out to see what kind of details that lurk beneath the uh, 
glossy paint. It is a beautiful car though, I will, I will admit. I'll probably be displaying this thing with the doors open and everything. Put the box down here. Now we get on to the screws in here, which M2 likes their screws, I'll put it like that. And trying to unscrew a Phillips head with a flat head, that's not really something I'd recommend trying to do. But the nice part about this is that I can see from here, it's got really nice, fat, big, wide tires, almost like the ones on the show. Because when Foose puts wheels on cars, he don't put no little itty bitty skinnies on there. He usually puts pretty fat rubber underneath the uh, wheel wells. As you know, the show it looks like this is going to go pretty quick. Yep, it did. Now the base is pretty well stocked, as you can see, except for those wide. Why do I see? I don't know how this thing still kind of steers. I know it has steering on it, and it's one of the few 124 scale cars. I mean, Jada doesn't do that with their 124 scale. I'm trying to apply light, as light a pressure as I can to the hood to kind of close it so y'all can see that. There we go, I got the hood to close. Now let's see if I can get the trunk to close. Look at how beautiful this thing is, guys. This is possibly the prettiest Mustang model that I think I have in my collection. A lot of people now are commenting, just commenting and chiming in. But man, what a beautiful 124 scale. M2 machines, normally I don't give them enough credit because their company is usually bad with the quality control, but I have to say, they have really started to step up their game, not only on hinge quality. They may have made these hinges a bit too tight, I will say. There we go, now I got the trunk to close. Now you can see it in its state where everything's closed up and all shut. The shot lines are actually really good on this piece. If you look and pan around, even to the nice little customized exhaust tips, they have done everything on the outside of this car. Not only that, but you have the painted front balance. And normally when you see a Mustang, this is normally chrome. These sides here are normally chrome. They painted these side balances, I believe, right here. Actually, let me pull up Google Images real quick. And I want to get a reference here. 1970 Mustang Mach 1. Let's see what the uh, comparisons are. Well, no, I was wrong. These are usually painted in the Mach 1. So they are painted. So... But this car was very customized from the chin spoiler to everything. And I'm going to open up the hood so y'all can check out that glorious big motor. Look at how, look at how big that monster is. A gamble, a 514 Ford crate racing motor right in there. I swear this video is starting to get the most views I've ever had out of any 124 scale review. I brother been there just doing my room. LOL. You should, you should run stream, stream yard to stream. I wish, man. The shot lines are really good. Now I really want to take a look at that interior because Foos is well known for his interiors, and if they just decided to do a stock one on this, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna feel about their. Uh, StreamYard is free. Okay. I'll check it out, bro. Thank you.
God, I hate using the teeth. Gives you 20 hours to stream a month for free and no need to download anything. That's nice, man. Thanks for the suggestion, bro. I'll check out StreamYard because you, boo, is really, is really cracking down on that 1,000 subscriber bull crap and they're not letting me live stream like I want to for my phone. And I, I hate, I really can hate, can throw YouTube out the window for doing that. Because I need a better platform, guys, to be honest with you. YouTube is just not where it's at anymore for me. I'll put the screwdriver down here. I'm going to try to untape these doors for you guys. Now, the one thing that really irks me about a lot of M2s is those doors do not always want to open and shut correctly. So hopefully they've tightened up the QC a little bit. Let's see how their doors open because that's always the one thing. And with StreamYard, you can computer stream this. Thanks, man. I'll definitely check it out. Let's see how these doors open. I'm very curious. Wow. Well, geez, it's about time, M2, finally. I can say that. The interior is really kind of customized, actually. And uh, I'm going to give you guys a peek and pan at the interior as best as I can with this little itty-bitty stream camera. I only own one M2 car. Well, if you're going to own another one, make it this one. This is the one to spend the money online on because foo stuff you don't see it in 124 scale all too often. Look at how beautiful the interior is on this thing. They even got it down to the door panels and stuff. And I think they even got the speakers on the inside. The only missed opportunity is they didn't put the chrome kicker audio components in the trunk, which I'm a little bit disappointed. The doors are actually really open really nicely on this example. So... I got a pretty good piece here, so they finally have stepped up the quality control on their line. And I'll tell you what really stands out to me is that Jaguar green paint. Really, really love that color. And in case you all don't know, I don't know what paint code this is, but this is a paint code off of a Jaguar, a newer model. And then you got the ruby red rust peel paint right here, which is really nice complement to this beautiful looking model. Absolutely gorgeous piece for a collection. For an overhauling fan, if you're a Foose fan, this is one to get. Now, if they ever do the Overlord's truck with his dad, Sam Foose, who's no longer with us, I'm going to have to order that one online, too. Normally, I'm not ordering much of M2s online. This is the one piece I will make an exception for. This is a beautiful car. And if you're still with me, the stream's only been about 13 minutes, so thankfully, the unboxing did not take that long. And look at how fat these tires are. Look at how much steering angle you get out of the front end here. It's almost like pointless to put steering on this thing. It almost does remind me of just a more detailed version of what Jada makes. And I'm not really a Jada collector, but I definitely collect the M2 line. And look at how nice the wheels are. Now, I don't know if you all know this, but I do have a 124 scale uh, M2 Machines Foose Camaro. Not nearly as nice as this one. I got the 164 so I can race them. I hear you. Hey, you like what you like to do, man. Some people like to race them. Some people like to collect them. That's me collecting them. So this is just a beautiful car. I could gloss over the details all day, but I'm going to go over the engine one more time. Because the hood stays open pretty well. I got to be honest. They did do a really good job keeping the hood staying open. Now, I guess unless you play with the hinges a lot then the paint's going to kind of you know deteriorate and then you're not going to get as tight fitting them apart so maybe i'll just leave the hood open for right now and when i uh display this model in the box but i will say they did get the shut lines right and you don't get those wobbly doors on this example like you do on a lot of the m2s because i've had a lot of door wobble with a lot of these models and for some reason for on this foos line they really stepped up the quality a lot and everyone it's funny my friend a buddy of mine came over here so my, his my place almost reminds him of a comic book shop and it's just kind of funny but if you haven't watched the previous video watch the last 700 subscriber special i made on live stream because that is a pretty cool one there's a lot of really neat stuff in there 
And if you like Foose also, make sure you pick up the Amber set because that has another one of his iconic cars, the 0032. I mean, Foose is definitely one of my favorites. He really is. I see you. I am watching it now, LOL. Thank you, man, for tuning into my other live stream very much. I appreciate you checking out that. There are some really cool, iconic cars in there, especially if you didn't see the uh, Snake and Mongoose uh, transporter, those things. Man, I, I don't get excited about ordering Hot Wheels too often, but I will go back to something in the haul video, but these are possibly the most exciting Team Transports I've ordered in a while. If y'all like Team Transport, y'all need to get these from Wheel Collectors because they have a lot of these available for like 40 bucks for both of them. And it's not really a bad price to pay with shipping. All right, so it's been a good haul. I have to get a group pick for Facebook and all my collectors groups. So y'all keep it under 100. Y'all drive safe out there. Make sure you check out all my live streams. Yes, I know. They the team transports, man, those are my those are some of my favorite ones they come out with so far recently. And I tell you what, I'll definitely be buying more. I got one more team transport I got coming in the mail that's gonna be really exciting. And it's the same retro rig, it's just blue and it's got a Mustang boss on it. If you know Hot Wheels, you're gonna know what I ordered. So it's gonna be a really cool piece. But I don't think I ordered it off of wheel collectors. I think I ordered it off of some other secondary site. But definitely check out wheel collectors. I got to rearrange some shelves. I got to take a group pick. And I have to do some things. So y'all stay safe out there. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed my review. My one thing, I would say this model, I'd say I give it about an 8.5 out of 10 for points. The only problem, I, the only thing I really dock this model points for is they missed the opportunity to put the audio in the trunk, just like on the show. The interior is pretty much an exact match. They did a good job on the interior. Pretty car. Do you have a 68? Yes, I have. I think it's a 60s Camaro, but it's a Foos Camaro, and it's black. And I actually did um, do a permanent marker job to the wheels because they were just chrome, and they were super gaudy. I didn't like them. I like the chrome wheels on this one because they go. I'm not going to do anything to this because that's how it was in the show. But I have a Foose Camaro, and I actually did some, did a permanent marker job to the wheels and some silver in, on the tips of the sides. But the only reason I did that is I didn't like the look of the rims. These actually look good in just plain chrome. But I actually did do a little customizing job on my Foose Camaro. So it wasn't too much, but just enough to where it was the lip. So, yeah, I'll actually have to show that car up at some point for YouTube once I get all my stuff in place. And the nice part about these wheels, I was going to mention, they're not super wobbly. They actually tighten them up just enough to where they free roll pretty well. And the one thing I will say is you don't actually have a disc brake on here. These are just the plain discs without the little caliper. But they did a good job in replicating the uh, disc brakes on the car. I will say the Foose line, the 124 scale line, for some reason, seems to have better quality control than their main line. I don't know what it is, but they definitely have a better QC on this stuff. So they did a good job. All the chrome bits, everything on it, even the marker lights, they did a really good job with this piece. And I don't say that too often about a 124 scale M2 machine. Usually I'm complaining about something like the door fitment or something like that. They actually did a really decent job with this model. If you want a 124 scale gambler and you missed out on the full throttle line of Johnny Lightning's years ago, this is definitely a good second one to go for. Now, if they ever do the Hemisphere or a really iconic one like that, I will be all over it. So, yeah, for this one, if you're going to pick up the gambler, I highly suggest you do it. I highly suggest you do it on Hypnotized Hobbies site. It's a really good steal at 30 bucks for this whole the whole thing with shipping. You can't go wrong with this, guys. This is a good model. I see message retracted, and he says, I, I don't know. But definitely check out my other live streams. Uh, for me, this was a no-brainer. I had to order this one. 
sure they didn't do the best packing job on it, but they did a good job with it. All right. And I really like this model a lot. All right, guys, I'm in the live stream here. Bye-bye.